Thank you. So, I want to welcome everyone to this, the Manchester Literary Festival launch of protest, Stories of Resistance, a new anthology from Manchester's Common Press that attempts to reimagine the history of British protest through fiction. Now, the cultural theorist Stuart Hall once said, the only interest in... That's the cultural theorist, not the... Uh, <laughs> The only interest in history is that it is not yet finally wrapped up. Another history is always possible. Another turning is waiting to happen. And yet, that's not always the way that history is presented to us. More often, history is summarised as somehow inevitable. A fixed list of names and dates, kings and queens, admirables and prime ministers. When progress is covered by history, there's a sense that it's always going to happen, that eventually progress would come about one way or the other in the end. The way history is taught often glosses over the fact that at the time, Progress movements were regarded by the majority as dangerous, frightening extremists. The suffragettes were treated like terrorists. The Chartists were tried for treason. The anti-Vietnam War protesters were described by the media as aggressors, troublemakers and anarchists. History forgets. It forgets that attempts to make progress are always marginalised. And if they seceded at all, they did so because individual protesters and campaigners, often from working class or disenfranchised backgrounds themselves, were prepared to take risks, make sacrifices and stick their necks out. This anthology, published by Comma Press, has tried to get under the skin of some of these movements at a street level, following the stories of characters caught up in protests or whose lives intersect with them. The book covers 20 protests in total, spanning over six centuries, from the Peasants' Revolt of 1381 all the way through to the anti-Iraq war protests of 2003. The stories are fictional in their foregrounds, but true to the historical facts in terms of their backgrounds. To get these backgrounds right, authors were allocated specialists, historians, or in the case of more recent protests, activists who witnessed the protests firsthand. Today, we are going to hear some stories from three of those protest movements. The suffragette movement, which started right here in Manchester, obviously. <laughs> the fight for civil rights in Smethwick, in the Midlands, in the 1960s. And the poll tax riot of 1990, which helped topple Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> They've been written by Michelle Green, Kit Duvall, and Courtney and Newland. Now, the way the event will work is that there will be three readings in the first half, and then we'll have a break of 15 minutes. That's 15 minutes. <laughs> then in the second half, we'll have a discussion about how the stories came to be and of protest in general. <laughs> 